It's literally pissing rain. It's literally raining all over the place. <laughs> he ain't playing no games, dude. He ain't playing no games. Guess what? It's tackle time. Head into academy. Got to get some stuff. I'm out of stuff. So, I need hooks. I need weights. I need jig heads. So here we go. the usual trip to Academy. They were out of half the stuff I wanted, but they gave me a $5 off coupon for 50 bucks, so I had to spend 50 bucks. And uh, I think I got the bare minimum, got me a new pair of sun pants and some 22 long rifle bullets, so I was excited about that. <laughs> It's literally pissing rain! It's literally raining all over the place! Now that's a rainstorm! Check it out, a Florida afternoon thunderstorm. Woo! Did a tropical storm come and nobody told me? It is June 16th and I'm a couple videos behind. It's been a busy last few days, busy last few days. I'm gonna share with you I'm gonna share with you, hold up, hold up, all right. I'm gonna share with you what, I, what I've been doing and what's going on. You're not level, hold on. All right, so um, come to you right now on my new vlogging setup. I've got the Hero 4 Session on a little handheld tripod. Uh, check my Snapchat and you'll see it. I posted it on there. Because my phone was running out of storage too much and I was limited on what I could do in the videos. So, but anyways. Um, Check it out, hold up. I got, went to Academy yesterday. I had to get some stuff. And I got me a troll a mount for my yellow kayak. I needed a way to put something up front to troll with instead of reaching back all the time. So, boom, Scotty rod mount. And then, uh, dude, I finally found some 22 mini mags. Finally found some, they had some in Academy. Came in clutch, stole 100 rounds of them. I didn't steal them, but I bought them. Also, some hooks, some trailer hooks. Academy's like selection is not the best, and this is the only size that they had, and I didn't want to go somewhere else. So I got some bigger ones. The problem with the bigger treble hooks is that they um, don't fit a lot of bait sizes. So like if you got small bait early in the season, the big ones don't fit on the fish very well. They either bust the mouth all the pieces or whatever and uh, you can see them a lot better you know the fish will see them so these are a little big but they're only three times strong i could find i wanted four times strong but this is all they had also um i need some tarpon hooks some six aught seven aught hooks also academy didn't have what i needed so i went ahead and grabbed some like laser sharp like the big box brand they have laser sharp eagle claws because I was like, well, I didn't want to go anywhere else. And Amazon is not always the cheapest, even though they kind of like have a lot of selection, but sometimes you'll pay a couple dollars more, even though if you've got Prime. But I grabbed these six aughts right here, and they look shiny and, and like thick wire. And you know, they're not three or four times strong, but Honestly, in a kayak, you can't put too much pressure. And on a tarpon, you're not horsing them in anyway. So we're gonna see if these works. And if they don't, I'll come back and tell you. So Eagle Claw, number six is six, six odd circle C. So yeah, that's what I got so far. That's all I got. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set it up on my kayak. All right, so also what I got when I went to Academy, I got some Sunproof pants, right? These are the Magellan kind. They're like half the price of Columbia. 
and they're like just about as good. They're only like 20% SPF, but it's better than nothing. And they have the uh, pants leg that will zip off, so you got shorts. So from long pants to shorts, like that. Also, I wanted to go ahead and say that the Yak Motley shirts are online, both on yakmotley.com and on Absolute Specialties. The link is on, uh, if you just go to the apparel section on yakmotley.com. So it's like basically all the, the shirts I've been, you've been seeing me wear in my videos. Got the uh, fight the skunk, because you, every day when you go fishing, you gotta fight the skunk, all right? You're out there to make sure you catch a fish and don't go home just posting a picture of a sunset and no fish. Because as soon as that hits your Facebook, everybody knows you got skunk and somebody's gonna hate on you. So yeah, they uh, got the Yak Motley emblem on the front and then they got Fight the Skunk and then we got the regular American true-blooded uh, shirts, both in short and long sleeve. Um, these are in the 100% polyester type material that's kind of like your uh, SPF type um, apparel is done, like your Columbia apparel. Um, these are made by Augusta, so they're Augusta uh, moisture management, moisture wicking shirts. Uh, they're pretty awesome. Got them in uh, multiple colors. And we also have the short sleeve don't get spooled shirts that you see me wearing online too. So go check them out over there. And uh, there's gonna be a lot more going on the website. It just takes time to build out the order forms for these and like the way to hyperlink it back and forth between websites. So check it out. Let me know if you got any questions. So check this out. I'm gonna show you about my uh, where I'm putting this on my kayak. I don't like Bella hasn't had enough camera time lately. Bella, you got anything to say to the people? Look, look, Bella. You got anything to say to the people? Got anything? Got anything? She just walked off. Oh, she's bringing a stick. Bring it over here, Bella. She's she's not having it. She doesn't want to be on video anymore. So if you watched the last episode, actually the vlog from like Saturday, when me and Samantha went out and caught the king mackerel off the beach, and uh, I was fighting the big king mackerel out of this one. Well, it wasn't big, but he was he was a good he was an okay sized king mackerel. Um, I was fighting him out of this quest right here, and uh, you know I lost my my rod and reel. Uh, you, you can see that on the vlog, and I was like, well, I need to rig this out better so I don't lose anything else, and that meant uh, a rod holder on the front. And normally, I just put it in my kayak crate, which Samantha had my kayak crate, and I just put them in these rod holders back here. But you have to reach behind you. But when you're paddling you have to reach behind you to sit it in the rod holder. So like, right back there. So like, back here, which is a pain in the butt because, you know, you're rocking and flip over some bull crap. So that meant installing this. And what I really want to do, I think I want to install it to where it's pointing behind me. Like you see the Viking kayaks out there, the way the rod holders are put in those, I think are pretty cool. Because Samantha was putting them straight up and down in my rod holders. And the crate and it worked pretty good because the fish just spins around the kayak so I think I'm going to put it right here and that way I can spin it and go left right up down left right and it gives me plenty of room I think so what do you think right there and then you know I can adjust it you know left right so I think that's where it's going to be. You can still use the hatch. Might put it here. Wherever I can still paddle and do well is where I'm going to put it. And that'll allow me to sit the rod in the rod holder while I paddle. And then I don't have to worry about it in my lap. Because what I was doing was basically sitting it. I was sitting it this way as I was paddling and it could just fall out. So I'm just going to put it in the rod holder. Especially when you're trout fishing, you gotta pick the paddle up a lot. I said I was gonna mount this to the front of the kayak. Well, I just started playing with it and I realized this Scotty rod holder will not fit my big rod. Look at that. Won't fit in there. So I'll be taking this back. Because it's not gonna work. It'll use it'll probably work for the little rods, 
that's not going to be working for my big rod and that's why I bought it. Well, that's a bummer. I really wanted it to work on this. So FYI, this won't fit on a big tiger rod. But that's what these vlogs are for. Is so uh, you see me mess up and create new stuff. So uh, fits the tiger light rod. Watch. You watching? Boom. So I mean I have to redo this, but that might work. See? Check it out. I don't know. It's up in the air. And why I chose that one, that rod holder instead of the others. No reason. It was just cheaper. It was cheaper than some of the other brands. The Yak Attack one was, it was up there too. I mean, it was about the same price, but it was also uh, not a stick of plastic. And I figured the first big fish, big bull red that hits that, that rod holder would just kind of break the plastic. Because, you know, you don't always get the drag just right before a fish hits it. So that's just the only reason. No real reason.